Okay, my dear souls, should I say you that I love you? Hmm? Should I say? You should feel. It's not something that we have to express with some words. This thing is something which you cannot express. It is only subject of heart. Heart to heart it works. It is very pure, holy subject. And let it be remaining holy at its own status. <clears throat> but when we look at each other, there is something going on. We do not really take heed, but it is going on. What is going on? Some change. What change is going on in the world, in worldly people, that bodies are changing? You would have also found me, let it be, some 10 years back, somebody could have seen me 20 years back or 25 years back. I was not the same as it is now. So this change, no doubt, is appreciable. When we find some person after 10 years or 20 years, sometimes we will not able to recognize even a person. If it is the same person, we have to little concentrate. Especially it is the eyes that are unchangeable. And generally when we recognize a person properly, we have to look into the eyes of the person. Then eyes are the mirror of the inner heart and inner self and we generally recognize people more from the eyes because the faces and bodies had changed very much. And this change is going on, going on. Which direction is this change going on? Towards annihilation, to be no more at some time. You know very well, little fake memory will put be there in your hearts when you are small children. Just running here and there with your playmates, you are playing all innocent life, wonderful life, you are enjoying it. And then you are grown, more grown, more grown, and you are really complete persons like the man or full woman like that and then it remains sometimes little changing down and now we are having a gray hair and a wrinkled face and weak body, weak organs, inner system weak, hearing system weak, seeing system weak, all systems have gone down and that it shows from outside also and inside also machine like that, that and it will also be there that this is the last stage which has read of our change first was of the childhood then of young person then of old person and fourth one is in grave is that not that it is a compulsory uh, uh, circle of our life and we have to go through it it cannot be changed and we are going through it but as I feel you what I see you I should see you growing not going down and to be out of existence but starting from nothingness as, as at present you are not as soul let it be when a person is initiated, then it is uh, given birth as soul. That is start of the life of the soul. So let it be a start from nothingness. It has come into existence, come into being. And it has started its uh, way also, enjoying something, peace, some sweetness, some love, some glory and beauty, knowledge and wisdom, and some also some powers 
of the soul because soul has got something wonderful for the very beginning it begs to work something much better much better than the highest of this body if we have anything let it be best in body best in mind and intellect and best and the kingdom of the whole of the world and when one is Uh, um, uh, lifted up as soul, it transcends all everything. There is nothing, no value of anything which we had the best of this world, and we start a life. My master used to also say that we are all worldly philosophies and worldly glory, beauties and uh, uh, possessions, and therefrom further. Higher up, the spirituality starts. It is a very good start, very big start, and where it is going, to, where it is directing itself, that is how something very, 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 very wonderful, which we have to accept. It is a certain to know, and it is sure, which is, we may not know, we may not know, but it will happen. <coughs> That is, you are, your body is changing towards death, <coughs> going towards death. It travels towards death. <coughs> It is certain change. There is no way that you can change this style of direction. It will take, keep its direction. Maybe kings and emperors, maybe even masters and saints who got the body, they also did not change the system of the body. Because it is unchangeable, also permanent. As there is a system of unchangeable permanence in God's style, in kingdom of God, it is to grow up, 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 only up and up, and at certain stage where it is highest, best, then it will remain over there. It will not come down. It can go up, but it is, there is no possibility that it can go down. Once a soul has been awakened, its direction it takes up automatically. We are not to give its direction; it has its own direction, and it will go on with its direction if there are some suitable little helping factors, circumstances. It will really grow up. But if there are some hindrances and problems in it. Then it can be little stopped somewhere, but its trend will always be upward. Its trend will not change. Some stoppage or some hindrance can be or some hindrance in its intention, in its way, but it will not change, as is uh, the lifestyle of all the human beings in this world. That they are not uh, awakened as soul. But their soul has not adjusted in the life of destruction, we of destruction. That all we are connected as per body, mind, and intellect with this world, with the nothingness of this world. All glory, all beauty, all everything, gold, silver, jewels, diamonds, lands, properties, name and fame, power and wealth. Which is the way of destruction? We are all having it very, very more and more, more and more. Our tendency of the body, mind, and intellect is more and more adjustable into it, because it's a trend of uh, this lower system of our animal uh, life that we are to suffer and we are to die, and this uh, process goes on, goes on automatically. Without any uh, checkup, and that uh, the soul is there in them, but soul has never accepted it. After uh, a soul has lived a hundred years in the body of a king, who had all his life been uh, living in this worldly system, day and night, day and night, uh, worried about all impressions of world and world, world and world. And when that person is initiated, 
that soul is little uh, rid from this all pulling down agency is at once it lifts its head upward it will not say that i have lived with these friends in this house or in this body or in these that the friends and that i have some little affection little uh, uh, love for this or responsibility it will not not even a point one percent it has any attention or any attraction to anything of this world it will at once look up and will ask for god ask for kingdom of god and the first glance it will have the first glance it will have it will not be of the world it will of the kingdom of god and will ask for i want to see light and that light i want to enjoy some kingdom of god i want to enjoy this world god this life giving impulse this created life principle of god is my it is me it is i am i cannot be without it this is myself and without myself i cannot exist so this system is also there and that each moment when it is a little feasible and that it will like to enjoy its ahar ascent however the net powers are also there the mind is very much really clutching to the uh, soul and that uh, sometimes the people have gotten left side sound that is also a great um, uh, action of the net power that it soul may not rise higher up and it may brought down although the people and sometimes if you uh, listen to left, left side sound it is also enjoyable people enjoy it but this is poisonous enjoyment it is not really positive uh, for you to enjoy this and that uh, all these uh, hindrances problems which are possible by the net power it will create but still it has its tendency to go up and that uh, Uh, it has its help when some help is there from the master and help is there uh, from the connection of the uh, specially sound and also light then this helping factor begin to help it more the more you are connected uh, with the, the life the more you are filled with life and life will become more than attracted to more life <coughs> that is always there and that if uh, you, uh, a magnet is to attract this bar of iron it has to first convert it into a uh, magnet and as the that bar which is now converted into magnet is coming near to the ma- ma- parent magnet it will become more and more more and more magnetized more and more magnetized and that which agency we are keeping it back away from that magnet which was this uh, bare principle of life of the rod uh, are getting weaker and weaker and it is traveling more and more toward the parent magnet the powers are then getting stronger and stronger still at till at the time when it really near it will dash into or strike strongly into uh, the magnet this is uh, the way in which uh, uh, our soul is going along and that if we are helping the soul a little it will achieve itself it will not lose it just as you meditate on sound or light for 10 seconds it will also remain in credit because soul has been lifted up a little towards god and the attraction of god with the soul has increased and the downfall of the materialism on the soul has decreased at any moment you further uh, spend on this holy uh, connection it will go strengthening more and more the connecting links of uh, god power and we are going getting more and more relieved you uh, from the downfall agencies of the mind and matter 
so that is why the masses have not only confined you to the meditations but you are to meditate always what is meditation meditation is the connection of the heart connection of you are uh, outgoing faculties where these are connected to we are always meditating only when we may be sleeping we may not be meditating because we are not in consciousness but when we are thinking of something when we are attentive to somebody or when we are hey, somebody working with something we are concentrating on that and that goes into our hey, system now we have to see which this system hey, which is working where it is working now in what way it is working it will work hey, to downpour uh, of our physical life and also of the soul and that goes on goes on goes on it is also meditation that when we attract something else out <laughs> to any object anything you attend to something it becomes your lifestyle it adds into yourself and it begin to work in you that why some kind of backbiting is also uh, or something uh, thinking uh, ill of others is totally denied in the uh, uh, spirit, spirituality that when you think of some bad person negative person you will become bad if you are thinking of something good then you will become good as you think so you become so if somebody is a negative or bad he is a thief decoyed or robber it is not concerning you because it is a the creation of lord god and he knows how to handle them and he is beyond this effect or control of impressions he can think of bad ones he can think of negative ones and he will not change because he has the state of unchangeable permanence and masters have also is such like state that they had gone reach the high state of unchangeable permanence so they can think of somebody they can look upon uh, what is the behavior of your working of this person that person that person this person but they have got their own stability and from their own stability then they go on working effect on the other people and with that control that effect that power which is there in them then they go on helping that reality of life as soul that all those barriers all those hindrances problems which are there working upon it against its upliftment towards the way of life towards the god and kingdom of god they are loosened and help is given a pull is given upward and those are help and coming up but master is not burdened with that but if you are have to do something looking at somebody then you will be affected by it you are not free because you are level is there still down you are under the impression or under the influence of all the surroundings and which are all negative all what we look at here in this world is all negative because when we look at somebody we look as bodies we do not look as soul when master looks at somebody he looks as soul he looks generally into eyes or forehead of the person and there he finds the most concentration of the soul and then the soul is speaking what is the condition of the house in which he is living what is happening what horrible situation is there and that goes to the heart of the master and go to god and then arrangements are made that all the cry of the soul is heard and it is managed that it is uh, not going on for the same way but you are not to look at anybody that you are take that everything is the responsibility of the god 
is a epicenter of responsibility of the martyr. I am only to serve them, help them in love. It is a definite phenomena. In love, we may serve each other. Is it written that don't serve uh, uh, the negative ones or you enemy, your enemies or some bad ones? No, it is rather told, ordained, love thy enemies. That the, your enemies are not your enemies. You, this is not, there is nothing which is against you. There is nothing for you also. It is only that you are to see that everybody is a creation of Lord God. Everybody is created by Him. And that it is His creation. And in His creation, He is imminent. He is important. All what we are looking around, this is some kind of only policies or some kind of garments. And that those garments are not having their own value. They are uh, only uh, uh, attached with the reality which is your object. And when somebody comes to you, you see him as your friend, not his garments. He may not be dressed well. He may not, may not be dressed very, very shiningly. But you are concerned with your real, real friend who is there concerning you. So God is there. He made everything from his own stuff. There, at that time there were no stones, there were no bricks, there were no mud, there were no sand, no water, no air. Everything was uh, missing. It was only God. And from his own stuff, he just created uh, different kinds of materials, different kinds of structures. And if we make from earth some uh, figure of elephant or uh, uh, the uh, um, horse or some other uh, uh, animal, as something like that, or even a human being, what you will find, feel out of it? You will feel like that it is a horse, it is a camel, it is a goat, it is a sheep. But uh, when you will look at little closely, you will say, it is all earth, it is all clay. To just have a little uh, superficial general outlook, you can be misled or you can be little hindered by some kind of artificial, which is not real, some only looking alike. But when you little have insight in, uh, into it, then you will not say it is horse or it is a camel or it is something like that. It is looking like it is all earth. And that when we look at the people of this world, we look differently. Everybody is different from each other. And that we discriminate from each other as they are looking like. But when we have little deep insight into them, then we find everybody is same. All is God. There is nothing else. There cannot be anything else. Only it is the only figure which has been given. Otherwise, reality is the same. And that when we look at the bodies, then bodies also are not available. That the shyness which is there of and glory which is there of God, that is coming out of it. At some time you will find it. That all what is looking like as you see with his outer eyes, when your soul will look, then it will not look at your bodies. It will look at this uh, core uh, of the atoms. And at the at core of the atoms, what are neutrons and protons? And what are protons? It is also even finer than the electrons even finer than the electrons. And that the, the central portion which is there that has uh, adjusted and controlled uh, the outer electrons, they are controlled 
and the controller is bigger than the controlled ones and that controller we could not reach out to electrons the scientists have reached but that base or that center of existence or control of uh, the electrons uh, that must be known but we say it is only nothing it is only something neutral something like that and that uh, uh, is there but our intelligence or knowledge and wisdom is very limited because we have not gone into the uh, central point of uh, the existence anything which is happening to us there is something if some bullets are coming from where somewhere we are not to look at the bullets where from, uh, where, where it is going on where going. we have to see where from it is coming and then where from it is coming then when we see that then go over there that then we can also control that so all this what is happening in this world there is some controller there is some doer and that we are to reach that base and that after reaching that base then we are uh, to adjust ourselves or adjust that uh, uh, thing in such a way that we are in the same way and that there is no difficulty for us and we are not to suffer from it and because we are adjusted in it and that is the end of our suffering so man is a, a very very big entity very very big power it is a god that although all this earth all stones all the steel all this everything is a god our animals and all birds our creatures are also god but they are not having this kind of uh, uh, adjustment that they can know it or they can adjust themselves in some way and that they can really avail that originality which they are working in them that they are going along and that 10000 years back they were also the same and now they are also the same but there is some possibility in us that we can grow higher up and we can develop ourselves but this development which we are having some tendency or some kind of possibility we are only using because we are using the physical part of our existence as if we have only developed ourselves and struggled hard and hard hard and hard in material world and we had no doubt uh, achieved very much progress also but it was all in vain that is the difficulty that is problem that we work very hard very hard very hard as a um, horse which is uh, made to run in a circle it will go on running go on running go on running whole of his life but it will be the same, same place it had not traveled even 1 km running whole of the life it had not traveled even 1 km in one yard it is same point so we have worked hard worked hard worked hard in this materialism and worked with materialism but entertain materialism that we have made a house of sand uh, very very lovingly very very nicely very very wonderfully and when it was dried out it was all sand only there are no house of it everything we have made struggled hard struggled hard entered in dust of the earth everything all these houses we are have made they were also at, at some time and in dust of the earth all the trees and big big trees and plants which we find they will all end into dust of the earth anything which is gold and silver which we have got always end into dust of the earth all these bodies of the human beings maybe kings or emperors they are glorious and glorious they will all end into dust that whatever we have made at last it will end into dust then what is the result of our actions and what is the benefit of it why we have struggled so hard 
But this tendency which is there in us, that we have to develop, we have to not be satisfied with this situation of ourselves, although we are God, but we are to be real God, but can be called God, not something as we say that I have found this apple or orange, orange we have found. But that outer skin is not the orange. That is not for your purpose. That is only a container in which the orange is there. It is juice. It is not the juice, but that energy and that taste, flavor, which is there in that juice, that is the uh, uh, orange. So if energy is taken out and, and the flavor is taken out of the stuff of uh, the uh, juice, or uh, the orange. What is the orange? It does the word. It is nothing. So that thing which is there, which is our real subject, real uh, original self, if we do not reach our original self, uh, we are not to enjoy. We cannot. Uh, and it is not possible. So all these efforts which the people of this world had been doing, and God is very much sorry that you have been misled, my dear. Come to me. I will give you rest. I will give you peace because I am there. Until you don't reach me, you will not find any place where you can stay or where can you say that I am. And something is mine, that is next thing. But you cannot say even I, I am. You are not there. It is nothing is there. What you see in yourself and others, it is all dust the water and to dust the earth. And that, what is it? Just dust of earth can say that I am, what I am, what I can do, and what I am capable of. I may mean, have some knowledge or wisdom or power. It is all uh, something. Uh, a way of destruction that we are going through more and more. We are wise, we are more our doers and workers, more and more we are destroying ourselves, killing ourselves. So this is not the way that we are to spend our very, very valuable life of the humanity. Humanity is something very special, very special, very special, but when we open this, uh, 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 some kind of bag or some kind of suitcase that uh, suitcase is also no doubt very beautiful from outside but what is inside it that must be really wonderful, really valuable and that we have to find and that is uh, the uh, declaration by the master that there is the way, here is the way you are not to be satisfied with your body, and you are not to be satisfied with the outside of anything. It will only be there for your use if you come in contact with your real self, that this outside things will not hurt you, will not disturb you, will not be creating any problem. You can use this. You cannot enjoy this. You can use this. But you cannot enjoy. And that if you do not come into contact with me, your life's uh, impulse, then you will be indulged in this and this will kill you. This will destroy you. Uh, the, all difficulties and problems and sufferings and diseases and death continues, continues, continues. It will go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Every day, every night, some different kinds of, in the day we suffer differently, in the night we suffer differently, in summer season we suffer differently, in winter season we suffer differently, with our children we suffer differently, with our brothers and sisters we suffer differently, alone we are also suffering differently, when we are with somebody we are suffering differently. It is only subject of suffering. <laughs> Anywhere you go, wherever you go, some kind of different kinds of suffering. And it is variety, 
man is a little fed up or little boring with some some state he says i am to go later on excursion where will he will what he will find so good anyway such a girl so this is just a take of mind that i will enjoy some kind of variety it enjoys some variety of suffering <laughs> Uh, but we cannot understand it. We could not understand it. It is reality. What I am saying to it is not a joke or just for humor only. It is for reality, and that uh, we are to enter into some kind of our existence where you will not need variety. You will not need something. You will feel perfect. Here, are we perfect? If I am alone somewhere, I am perfect. I am to enjoy. But in this world, it is never possible that we can live without anything. At least any relative or friend or some companion is needed. And otherwise, air is needed, water is needed, some food is needed, some things against our seasons is needed. that uh, uh wherever you are you have to take so many things with you in your house this is full of everything if you are traveling in a car also you put so many so many things also you are to travel only for two hours or three hours in the car but still you put so many television also in it some uh, mobile phone is also in it and some other things are also there in it so many so many things some food some water because we, we need so much so much and still we are short still it is not sufficient we fill our homes with everything but still it is not sufficient the king of the whole world has everything in his possession but still he is suffering just something is missing sister body is suffering something is not available and the mind is suffering something is not available and we are struggling to satisfy this but this is a well which is bottomless if you go on filling a well which is has bottom it will be filled at some time and there is nothing for you to do it is filled up but a well which is bottomless and you have to fill it and that is never to be filled back well it is bottomless so this word this materialism of your own existence as the level of physical body mind and intellect is that we have been given to fill this bottomless well and then find finding something out of it putting something in it, in it and then finding out of it you go on or go on putting go on or putting go on putting you cannot find anything out of it and at the end of life you go king of the whole of the world also goes in the same way as a beggar goes with empty handed and barefooted and but we have got a we have put in this well that and that is there upon us that you have taken something and you have put in the well in the expectation that you will find something out of it but where from you are getting that is there the source which is there that you are to know that i have to get who has made me what i am doing who is doing who is worker who is seeing who is hearing who is life who is consciousness in me this is not materialism it is something else as a person dies as you as you find that some change has occurred in that person and that it was seeing hearing and working nicely wonderfully living but now it nothing it only dead body what is change in it but you cannot see what change has occurred that subtle system of life which was there working in us that has gone away and what has gone away we could not find when it was living in us with us and it when is going it we cannot see it that what is going out but we have to see the result 
that when it was there, there was something. And when it has gone, some change has occurred. This gives some idea that there is something which was really a cause of glory, beauty, or light, life, or our existence. And something has gone, which is missing out of it, and now it is all nothingness. It's all to less. We can have to say that this is dust the water and to dust the tenders. But till that was there in us or in anybody of us, we cannot say this is dust the water to dust the tenders because something was there which was glorifying this dust of this earth in such a way that this dust is also not, not looking like or working like dust. It is working like something wonderful. So that must be very wonderful, really wonderful, that which can change the black coal into some kind of bright, shining thing. And that black coal is not looking like black coal, but it's really shining. That must be very much having its own shyness, its own beauty, its own power. And that if we find that, then what we will find? A great privilege. privilege and a great benefit out of that, which is really be, uh, beyond our imagination. And it is very much to be, uh, uh, hap- be, uh, to be uh, happy about it. It is our own self. It is our own self. That we are to find our own self and enjoy our own self free of that problem-creating agencies. As in the beginning of the talk, I have told that this man has these are two systems, this lower system, which is uh, to uh, suffer itself and cause suffering uh, to the soul. And that soul system is there, that it is to enjoy in itself and also to glorify all uh, what is uh, uh, it adjusted to. It may be horrible, it may be all uh, suffering, it may be all problem, but it will modify it as it will change that something useful, useful. There's some love, there's some peace, there's some sweetness, there's some beauty. We, I can enjoy a little. And what is it? It is it's not from any flower, it's not from any friend, it's not from any relative, it's not from your body. It is from that agency which has got this kind of working system that it will glorify everybody, sweeten everything, and everything is acceptable, acceptable, lovable, and workable. And that if we are able to disconnect these two agencies, and that we get rid of the suffering creating agency, and uh, uh, it is separate, and uh, the uh, enjoying or lifestyle agency is separated, then there will be great, great, wonderful change. That we separate ourselves from all that negative stuff. And we are now independent uh, to enjoy. That will be really great lifestyle which we will be able to call life and living. And that as long as we are in this world, in this physical body connected to it, then we will be able to uh, help the people of this world or our physical body and our relations and friends because uh, we are still independent in, in ourselves and therefore we can help others. If the king, emperor, the father of uh, the family is in the prison house, then he will not be able to help his family or his populace. But when he is released, then he will be able to help everybody. If sun is not there in this world, then all the world is darkness. If the sun is there, then it will be able to provide all life and light and to whole of the world. In the same way, if our life self is liberated from the clutches of mind and matter and negativity and is not able to work because it is disconnected from the working system, then we are suffering. And when we are uh, disconnected uh, from all uh, uh, this uh, troubled agency and we are liberated 
from its control, then we will be able to act. And when we will be able to act, then we will really uh, ben- uh, uh, benefit ourselves and will do all what, what is there available to us that our own lifestyle, we will be able to live independent. And this uh, suffering agency will also be helped us. Because we have been given some connection to it. We have to live in it. That if one is doctor in the house and others are all patients and if that doctor is not in the house then all patients will go on suffering. And when doctor is there then he is doctor, he is not patient. Then he will be able to help all the patients and all will be a lead of the uh, problems. In the same way, when we are in working order, when we are allowed to work, to exist in our own selves, then we will be able to help all our adjuncts, all our connections, all our relatives, friends, family members, that all will be in wonderful condition as we are, and that nobody is there to suffer. So this uh, lifestyle which has been given to you, that you have to understand. That uh, you are to work, you are to do something. But where you are to do something? Where there is something fruit of it? If you only sow the thorny bushes, seeds, you are working very hard. No doubt. You will work as hard as if you sow the seeds of uh, fruit trees, or some good crops, the same you will have to work hard upon growing the thorny bushes. But after having worked on both these things, on one side you will only find thorns and thistles and problems. And when you go to the other side, then you will find all flowers and fruit and shade and all life in it. Then you will come to know the contrast that here also I have worked for uh, three months and on this side also I have worked three months and what I am getting uh, from this side and what I am getting from this side then you will have to decide that why should I work on this uh, duplicating agency. I had created troubles for myself. All this work I had done, I had suffered working and I suffered the fruit also. Over there I have suffered, no doubts working, but the fruit is there. And now I forget what hard work I had worked upon it. And because when some hard work, after hard toil, you find some good fruit, nice fruit, then you forget all that hard efforts which you had put in on that work. But really that situation that when we have worked hard on some person or something, and that it had not proved anything good, it had proved only some difficulty for us, then we are really very sad that and we look back upon our sincere working, hard working, that I have worked very sincerely, very hard, everything, and it has gone all to dogs. Nothing is there. Any business on which you have worked very hard, and after some time, all capital is lost, all your uh, uh, efforts which you have done go, go to waste and uh, you are under debts, then you will uh, think of that business and you will be very sad, very sad. But when you had done some business and it is really working, it is really flourishing and now it is really giving to everything, then you don't feel that you are working hard or you have put in something uh, that will not be your consideration. <laughs> Because anything which we have suffered or worked hard is like giving you some wonderful fruit and that is to your satisfaction. So this is something, my dear, at the end of life when you will all have to leave the body. And then at the end of life, then we will have the uh, output of our uh, work we have done in this world where we are here. Now we are going along with something and we are not feeling like what will be the result. At the end, what will we find out of it? Because something 
some kind of illusion, delusion, or uh, ignorance is prevailing upon us. And we do not know what is, will be the fruit of our life, or of our struggles, if it be positive or if it will be negative. And in the end of life, we will find what is there we have got in this life. We have worked hard, lived hard for 80 years, 90 years, 60 years, 70 years. And that what we have got out of it. And I am sorry to say that mostly all the people of the world will find themselves in some, in themselves fitted into that bottomless well. On the bottomless well which they have worked upon and they have made that bottomless well and they have tried to fill that bottomless well, they will find themselves also in that bottomless well and they will also go down and down and down. <laughs> no end to it. Oh, my dear, that is the situation. I am not just telling you some kind of made-up story. It is actual story. But there is something hard that any person who is dying and has gone into such a situation cannot tell you, tell his family members that what has happened to him and that the style of life, life which he had gone through is not it is dangerous really. It is not what a great is, is not good. It is some treacherous action you should be safe. You should be safe out of it. And that if we come to know, then we will be really alert before four armed, four armed. That is some kind of aphorism. But this information is not available to us. As can there be any lucky one who has really used uh, this physical body in that life of a style of life which is called lifestyle, with which we earn everything, we earn everything, we earn everything. And we have started our life of soul from nothingness. And now we have grown up, grown up, and we are stronger and stronger, bigger and bigger, till we are best, the highest, the perfect, like that of God. And this is our we can say, uh, not end, but some kind of, this end of development. There is no further development. Highest life, and we will maintain it. Some lucky ones can also be there. And those can find themselves lucky always. That those people who, those students who go to some exam, those who fail to go through the exam, they really have to call themselves luck, unlucky that they have lost the year and has lost all the expenses, lost all the efforts, and they are unlucky. And those who have worked hard and they have spent also the year, had spent also the money, but have uh, succeeded through, then they will say lucky. Because all those students who had lost the exam, they will have to think of that all losses and loss of the year also. Not only the loss of going through or being failure, but all that what they had put in and that is also lost. That will be really double loss. But those who have found the net result is positive and that they are happy. They can call themselves lucky ones. This is my struggle. This is my feeling that all you dear ones should be lucky ones. That uh, all is well that ends well. <laughs> that is something uh, really working. That uh, our end is there to be real glorious and that we will remain glorious forever. If our end is in some kind of bottomless well, we will end in downgrade, 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 and that it is not behoving us if we have got some wisdom, if we have some guidance or some scriptures of the Mahatma, 
and we have also help from him that we can be helped to find our glorious future our glorious future which is there and that we find and enjoy forever for eternity and that we are not to jump into this beautiful looking uh, uh, well as i sometimes back i had given example that uh, a person goes and finds there are grapes in the well and jumps into the well but finds the grapes were up and the reflection of grapes were there in this world in the well and they find the only muddy water over there dirty water over there nothing else and they cannot now come out of it it is impossible this world is like that it is great great very very cunning very very treacherous such like cunning such a treacherous that no one can help himself against it because that uh, wisdom that knowledge that mind and intellect which we have got is also from uh, that negative power to cheat to deceive you if you are, do not know the way and you find some guide who to tell you the way and that is to take you to destra- uh, to slaughter house then can you feel that he will take you to some safe place that your guide is there who says i am your guide i am your benefactor i am your sympathizer and believe me depend upon me and he takes you to slaughter house and you do not know that is the thing that what uh, source of knowledge and wisdom which have been put in to us that is from negative power and it cannot be depended upon it is not dependable it is not believable that is why the master then says that you are to find kingdom of god and you are to awaken yourself as soul who has his own original basic knowledge who is not to depend upon anybody soul is not to ask anybody anything is not to ask for anything or even it has all knowledge all wisdom and everything which is needed no, that nobody can give you poison nobody can do any uh, uh, negative action to you you are yourself and you know everything and you can find yourself what is good for you and you can reject everything what is not good for you and you can help yourself nobody is there who can cheat you deceive you because you are beyond their approach all the cheating and deceiving agencies which are there they cannot approach you they are down and they are weaker rather you can help them and that they are no not any more uh, to suffer and they are also not any more to uh, make other human beings of this world uh, to put them into such like horrible uh, way of uh, destruction and they are saved so my dear you are uh, need is very very hard very very hard very very hard need and uh, i know also that i am not to live for long in this world you can also say can you feel that i can how long i can live you cannot say that uh, i can live for 100 years more or 20 years more even you cannot say i will live for 10 years more <laughs> because this is system of the body that the body had to go through the system and as all masters have to go through go through the system of the body they could not change the system of the body so this body is also there that he also will not be able to change the system but uh, when the children of a father are there who are now well uh, equipped and well versed with all knowledge all wisdom what business the father has carried down then the father goes uh, satisfied that my children will maintain and will keep up all that my business all my house and everything what i have started or managed it will not be lost it will not go down if it will not flourish for further at least it will be maintained over there then the father is satisfied he is not worried at leaving the body which is system is there 
So the system is there that master has to leave the body, but he has to find some, not one or two, but as many. All the initiates he has initiated are his own self, if they accept him in him. If they accept in him, in them, that uh, there is master in us and we have to find him and to become his disciples and by following him, by connecting him, him uh, outside to him, then all will become uh, the same. Imagine in him, I and my father are one, and then uh, you will be able to act in the same way. Everybody has got this privilege that you are not you, then you are somebody who is in you. If there is a car, uh, somebody is there who is a layman, it is not uh, working properly. When, but, but when it is driven by a really well-trained, well-educated uh, uh, a driver who knows everything, where to go, which way to go, then it will be really working. So every one of you, be, uh, without the master inside you, are nothing. All uh, mind and intellect there to destroy you, to hurt you, to ruin you, to, just, to do everything which can, which can be possible to hurt you, uh, to destroy you, that you are to suffer and suffer and suffer. Tell you to not embed your master in you. And he is uh, working in you, he is doing everything for you, and he is uh, imminent in you. As now your mind and intellect is imminent in you, he replaces all your mind, all your intellect, and they become servants or uh, some kind of uh, uh, awake system that all will be under his control, and they will work under his control, and that then they will not be able to hurt you, they will not do anything which is harmful for you, but they will do everything under the control of the master, and they will do something. They will have their duty, and we will not lose their services, but they will serve us then. They will not act independently. This is the change which is, uh, we are to bring in ourselves, that we are to develop master inside us, and that master is to uh, the start the sound, the word of God. The word of God is there having its full power. We are going developing it, developing it, developing it, and then it will be begin to work as God. As when a, a child of a king is born, it is nothing. It is just like the child of a beggar. But when it grows in the family of the king, with the king, then it becomes also the king, as the father king. In the same way as if our soul has been awakened, but it has awakened to become God, to become God. So we are to provide all favorable circumstances to the soul that it may grow, it will grow as quickly as possible, that we may not be deprived of those services which are there, uh, available from the soul, and that these uh, suffering agencies are not to go on to bring more and more, more and more to us, and we are now to enjoy. This enjoyment is their result for you, but only with the development of your soul. The more you develop the soul, the more it will push down all the suffering agencies, and more it will be uh, up over there to bless you. And if you are careless about it, rather you are uh, supporting the other agency, then it is a way of destruction, my dear. This is the explanation of what is the way of life, what is the way of destruction. It is in your hands that if you want to enjoy, this is the way to enjoy. If you do not uh, are careful, automatically you will suffer. Because suffering is automatically available in this world. Uh, if you have to make light, you have to arrange some arrangement. Otherwise, darkness is automatically there. So don't go on with this automatic system of our worldly show. Go along with the worldly lifestyle as the people are going along. Don't go along with this current. 
this is a way of destruction which all the people of the world are going to know. As in the Bible also it is told, so many will be there who will find it. But way of life, a few will be there who will be very careful, who will be very attentive, who will really understand this, uh, the uh, uh, instructions uh, of the Master and will go along with that. Only those few will find it and they will enjoy it. I think you should be uh, among those, a few. You are not so many. <laughs> you might be about less than 1,000. But population of the world is 6 million billion. What a percentage you are. Nothing. Very, 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 very few you are. And if you, even you do not uh, 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 take up uh, this way of life, then where you will be and where this whole world will be. I want that you should some living examples of uh, the life that here there is who are having found uh, perfection and they have found way of life at age and they are growing. They are growing in positive direction. Okay, my dear, I hope that you will understand it and will begin to work and make schedules not uh, disturbing your lifestyle of the world as yet. Go on with it as it. But uh, try to find as much time, whatever time is spare with you, uh, that you should not uh, 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 waste it in some idleness. Sometimes people are uh, laying down and going on thinking they do not sleep, because sleep is only limited, uh, three hours or four hours. But they go on sleeping, go on laying down, go on laying down, and going on thinking of somebody this way, that way. Uh, and going on, uh, just uh, this, wasting their time. And don't sit, it, sit in front of TV also. It is very horrible TV. <laughs> Tuberculosis. <laughs> TV of the soul. <laughs> Not of the body. Really it is horrible. This uh, age in which uh, we were uh, born, that was nice. There were no TV, no radios, uh, no faxes, etc. etc. Even there were not loudspeakers. At that time, there were not even loudspeakers. And the life of the man was still going on nicely. Still, they were living. But now his life has become more complicated, more hard. So, these systems in which our mind is uh, uh, adjusted and mind is feeling befitted, don't accept it. The system in which your soul is befitted, soul is enjoying, that is your enjoyment. Otherwise, your enemy is getting power and enemy is enjoying and you are being killed. And you should not be happy when you are and your mind is laughing, your mind is enjoying, your body is body neutral, let it be, that doesn't matter. But don't go after taste. Then if we eat, we do not eat for living, we eat mainly for taste. But I know that when we are eating for taste, etc., then we are really killing ourselves. Because taste is not our subject, which is from the outside world. Taste is from inside. But you have to enjoy some kind of taste of fragrance or beauty or love that is from inside. From this world, you are only just to eat something which is there to uh, suit your physical body. It may be tasty, it may not be tasty, it may be bitter even. As some people who have uh, diseased with uh, diabetes, they have to use the bitter gold. You know? Bitter gourd, it is very hard. Just uh, take the bitter gourd as it is green and go on eating it. Don't boil it, don't uh, uh, cook it, and then it will be useful. And that will really be useful. It is bitter, no doubt, for your body, for your taste, but it is so peaceful, so nice for your health. And that you have to know what is good for your health. If you eat some it's very, very tasty poison, it's tasty for you, your mind, but it's poison for your body. So you are not satisfied the mind, 
but you have to satisfy the body, but at the top of your soul. That will give you all taste, all taste forever. If you even uh, eat some bitter gourd, it will also become sweet. When you put it, put it in mouth, the sweetness which is in your mouth, that will sweeten everything. We eat sugar, uh, put sugar in something, in outside our food, that it is tasty. But if you put sugar in your, already in your mouth, then you do not need to put sugar in your, sugar, in your tea or coffee. It will automatically be sweet in your mouth, because your mouth is sweet. <laughs> but if your mouth is bitter, Anything sweet you eat, it will also not be tasty. If you eat some conine, what do you know? If you have some little conine, after that you may eat anything sweet and sweet, it will not be sweet, it will not be tasty. Because your own mouth is there, all better, all better. Anything bit from outside cannot help you. But if you are, mouth is all sweet, your own self is all sweet, any are tasty, anything better, you put it in it, it all fill it with the, the taste. This is the basic phenomenon of life. So we are not to depend upon the outer elements, we are to depend on our own elements which are really foolproof, which are complete and perfect, on which we can depend upon, which are believable, dependable. Okay, my dear, I have opened your heart, I've opened my heart to you. And you may try also to offer your heart to me so that it is blessed. Okay, now you may try to do this process by the meditation. Take your seats for meditation, please. <laughs>